Hey guys, it's me. Hey guys, it's me, Mahogany. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. So today we're going to be recreating one of my favorite looks I saw on the red carpet on Sunday from my girl, the queen of rap. Nicki Minaj. She had this grungy gunmetal black smoky eye thing going on and I just said mm -mm, cancel all my other videos. I gotta recreate this video for you guys. So if you want to see the video, you want to see how I got this look because I worked super hard to get it. Eyes watering and everything. Make sure you continue to watch and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! First thing I'm going to do is take this LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Warm Honey. And I'm going to use this to prime my, um, my lid just for the shadow. And I'm going to set it with the remainder of the translucent powder that's on my brush. So. So basically what I did was took my um, my face powder and just set or just blends, blended that into my eye down here just to act as my transition color like that. Then we're going to move into the black um, using the Naked 2 palette, this one right here. We're going to take this color right here, this is called Blackout on this MAC. I think this is the 242, 216, one of those brushes. Um, this like the most, the more tapered blending brush. We're just gonna tap the excess product. The black, you wanna be really careful not to go like overboard. So you really wanna tap the excess powder, excess product off. And we're gonna start right in here just to get that shape. Now the best way to do this if you have hooded eyelids like I do, is to look upward into a mirror like this. That way, well, let me zoom me out just a little bit. You want to look up into the into your uh, mirror. That way, you can see exactly where you want to start the shadow. So I'm gonna start it right in here, like so. Just placing it in there. Now, on the picture that I'm using to reference Nikki's look, she had um, it's more dark in the corner on the outer um, part of her lid than it is on the inside of the lid. So we're just gonna take this like this and just stop it like right here on the lid or on the crease right there. So it looks kind of like this. So I'm just gonna blend that out like so. Then you're gonna take a clean shadow, uh, a clean blending brush this blending brush is more by Morphe. This is the M441 brush. It's like a dupe for the, um, I think it's the MAC. It's the opposite of this one. So whatever brush, the MAC uh, blending brushes, I think this is, this is the 216, it's the dupe for this supposedly, but I really like this brush. Um, I got it because Nikki Tutorials likes it, so yeah. So you're just gonna take that and just blend in circles like this just to get it to blend out. You can also do windshield wiper motions if you'd like to. You just wanna blend out that harsh line there. That way it kinda of like blends into the uh, face powder that we applied as like the transition shade. Um, you can also apply Naked from the Naked One um, Naked palette, the original one with the brown case on it to get that same transition shade. So there's that. So Back. I have this all blended in pretty much. I'm going to do some more blending in a second, but I want to get the lid color down. I'm going to be using Verve from the Naked 2 palette. This color right here. This one. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do though is take it with my finger just to get the, you know, base based the base layer down I'm gonna like layer this up that way I can get the color payoff that I want so I'm just gonna take it with my finger like this and just pat it on to my lid where I want it to be applied at 
so yeah I pretty much want it everywhere where the black is not um again the picture that I saw of Nikki the inner third of her eye was like gray the gunmetal gray color and the outer portion was like really smoked out so then we're gonna take this um this is a MAC brush too this is the MAC flat shader brush like this I don't know the number of this brush but um, if you go to MAC and just get the white hair flat brush, it'll be the same one. So I wish I had a MAC girl who could like tell me all the numbers to the, you know, to the um, brushes. That would be cool. Anyway, so I'm gonna take that color and just layer it on my lid. I noticed in this look that Nikki had a glitter kind of iridescent not an iridescent she had like a glittery um she had like spots in her eyes where it was glitter i don't know if you guys can see it here see like right in here there's glitter applied somewhere in there so what i'm gonna do is take my nyx liquid crystal liner this one is the crystal gunmetal it looks like this you just want to randomly place the glitter that way it has that sparkly effect like hers does so just like this so bloop. all right we're gonna take the Mac black track fluid line it looks like this um, and we're going to use two different brushes I think I should use two different ones because she has liner in the inside of her waterline and then she also has like smudged out shadow at the bottom so I'm gonna use this thinner brush this is from BH cosmetics I'm gonna use this brush to really like get into the inside of my eye and then the second brush I'm going to use for the um, for the top and bottom liner. Now the good thing about this look is that she doesn't have a wing, so this is going to be a lot easier than I think it is. Okay guys, so I feel like Nikki had glitter on the bottom of her lashes, like down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit under my lash line, or on my lash line, like under it. I don't know if you guys can see that right in here. I feel like she had someone down there. This look is very like grungy, like it's different for Nikki. That's how your eyes should kinda look. Again, this look is really grungy. The rest of the face is really, really easy. She doesn't look like she's um, really contoured, honestly. So I'm not really gonna contour my face. I'm going to like lightly do it though, just because I just wanna add a little bit of dimension to my face. nose is not contoured or bronzed so I'm not gonna contour my nose or bronze my nose or anything like that because the look doesn't call for it um, her highlight honestly is not as popping tin as I would like so I'm gonna make my highlight my highlight extra booming because you know that's what we do over here so I'm gonna take my um, I'm actually gonna take this um, BH Cosmetics Blush to Go four color blush palette. I got this for free when I ordered my um, brushes. We're gonna take this shade right here, a little bit of this one. It looks like this, it's kinda like a peachy shade. We're gonna take a little bit of that on like a powder brush and just apply that to the apples of the cheek. Um, and then we're gonna apply some highlighter, so. this um, Soul Hollywood Illuminator again by Anastasia 
and I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics brush and we're going to highlight my face. Uh, again, her face is not contoured much. Um, so I'm going to try and not go overboard with this because typically when I highlight, I always go overboard. So yeah, we're going to try really hard not to go stupid with our highlighter today. But who am I kidding? Because you know how I feel about a highlight, hun. Boom. All right. So moving on to the lips. Um, I'm going to be using the Viva Glam Ariana Lip Gloss. Um, she does not have a lip color, like a lip liner on or anything that I noticed. So I'm just going to use a gloss. Um, I did notice the gloss is like pretty glittery. This one is one of those. Um, this is a lip glass from MAC Cosmetics. So I'm going to use this as my lip. Last but not least, no strut and slay, um, <laughs> we're going to do lashes. Now the lash that she has on is really spiky. Um, I don't have a lash like that, or at least that I know of. So what I'm going to do is take these 202s. I don't, I think I got these at, I think these are Ardell's actually. Um, I'm going to take these lashes. They look like this. Hopefully y'all can see this when I do this. They look like this, and they're kind of spiky. They're more short in the in the um, middle and longer on the outside. So we're gonna apply these lashes, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here's the complete look. If you want to see more celebrity recreations, definitely let me know down below who you want to see, and definitely send me some reference photos on Twitter. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'll leave my contact information down below. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you know? Thumbs up the video or whatever. It's like 2 a.m. and I'm filming. So hit it, hit a thumbs up just because I'm filming at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not about to do nothing but take these pictures on Instagram and take this makeup right off. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye!